Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pathologic 2, part 24. And we find ourselves back at the entrance of Orlongo. Before we make another attempt, thank you so much to all of you who showed understanding for my frustrations from last time. Um, I really appreciate all the tips that you guys have provided. Um, one of them being something that I probably should have done a lot earlier, saying that apparently we have a stealth function in this game, <laughs> which, as I now found out, is with the control of the button C. So, back to the game. We will get this done. And if you're wondering, well, how how is this attempt going to be different? Well, this time I am prepared. I think um, we, we have some knowledge. We don't know exactly what's going to happen, but there's a number of different things. The first tip that I want to definitely stick to is try not to drink the blood. Uh, I can't remember anymore. I'll probably put it up on the screen, but potentially wave pool or Eleanor, um, last burning. As someone mentioned already, try not to drink it if possible. Apparently it's a lot more useful for something else. And I mean, we speculated on the last episode already, potentially the blood that is in those fountains here might be the one that we need to create the, the panacea, the cure. Um, but then also, I did see, we did see the dancing herb brides that danced with those black swarms, but then a little bit further, basically where the worm was that constantly killed us, behind like a gate almost, there was the, the herb bride that spoke to us before, our specific bride, and she did say back then that um, we would potentially have to kill her at some point. I wonder whether this is the point where we are reaching this. And um, someone pointed out that we can get to them. And this is precisely what we're going to attempt. Uh, and then last but not least, there was also a tip on the fighting itself. So one thing that I didn't, I wasn't fully aware is that if you keep the mouse button, if you hold it down for a while, apparently you can do strong attacks and stagger your opponent. Let's see how many deaths we will incur on this one, but um, without further ado, let's see what we can do. And obviously stamina management comes into play, and I guess we will need to talk to him one more time. This is our blood hunger, little of it left there inside. Six springs, six gulps. We will not allow you to drink our blood. This blood belongs to everyone. I would an Emshem. I have a gulp, maybe I will become. I'm skipping this a little bit because we've seen this now a number of times. If you still want to see it, um, then I would just ask you kindly to please pause the video and read it at your own leisure. Um, we will say, I'm like you. An Emshim. Whose blood is it? You're in Akka to you, I'm an Emshim. All right, we could potentially drink this now, and I will try not to do it. Uh, we're missing just a little bit of health, and I'm hoping this is not going to be Now let's try so stealth, okay, this is apparently our stealth mode. Is cleaving the self-same body in twain not, not kindly? An open wound is a window into the world. The world. A shout is an, an arm reaching, reaching out from, from a gaping, gaping mouth. mouth. Tearing a healthy body to shreds with illness is like breaking a nutshell. Yes, I just tried the strong attack. So, light jab, light jab. Okay, oh yeah, but that drains a lot of stamina. And if we're stealthing, it seems like it kind of... It muffles all the side sound. That's quite interesting. Oh, there he is. Hopefully we can sneak up on him. Okay. 
All right, round one, definitely a win for us. Let's loot him. Oh, I didn't specify this. I wonder if I should still collect it. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna collect it. Skate it. All right. Then we were over here, and I think this was already a tricky fight to do. I think it was just past the bridge. It hurts men to outgrow their swaddling cloth. It aches to shed old hides. When it runs at the seams, it aches. If you are too weak to bear it, you die. Oh, this is also where they dance, so maybe? There's three more. Hmm, I'm wondering if we can go around it. They're fully engrossed in this, in those clouds. They would probably kill me in like an instant. And there's bones here, so if I walk over it, does that, will that make a sound? Well. Can only try, right? Oh no, those, they are just watching. And there's two more there in the background. Okay, so they can't attack me. That's already good. Let's see if I can go past this or if they attack me now. Nope. Oh, there's a door here. Okay. Okay, so those clouds are not attacking me. Okay. Okay. And this is where our upright sits. All right. Um, oh, there's another one of those fountains, but I don't have another bottle just yet. Can I talk to you? No, but I can talk to the fair ladies behind you. Why are you surprised, Yagashin? Your sisters, do they dance with the plague? Are they immune to the plague? Do they dance with the plague? Unente, this is so. Do you know why we dance barefoot? I do, I grew up here. Tell me, tell me. We can also open things up, but not like you, butchers. We dance with earth. We touch her with our feet. We caress it, Yakashin. We pry her open. To make herbs grow, to make air heady with its odor. Heady or heavy? Anyway, to have food for our cattle. This air reeks of death. Yes, that's why they call you uprights. And your clothes split open as you dance too, which is why you're dressed like that. Well, okay, this air reeks of death. We know how to open things up, our way. You know how to open things up, your way. Do you want to know why the sand pest passes us by? Show yourself. Cut a living sister in such a way that she stays living. You can do it, if you know the lines. What? You're crazy. I'm no butcher, you're no cattle. All right. Well, we could just say all right. I'm no butcher, you're no cattle. Do it, Yargashin. Proof that they call you Emshin for a reason. Do you want to know the truth? See, she's not afraid. Why do you tremble then? Ah, oh, have it your way. Wait, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Okay. Uh, have it your way. Is that a Menku's finger? It is. Oh, well, I guess, I guess this is it. This is the moment that she predicted all along. Oh, I wish there was a quick save function. All right, let's have a look. Nara. We finally meet, Gorken. Do what you must. It's you, Nara. You oh, true. We have the name all of a sudden. Nara, your name is Nara. It's me. 
I, I can't. You knew all this time. There is no pain, Kurukin. You are Yargashin. What you played cuts is not a body. You're tracing emptiness. A predestined line. A predestined line. Cut down or cut left? Oh no! Oh shoot, do we have to? Cut down or cut left? Well... From where? <laughs> oh man, I mean it's a 50-50, so... And I'm probably gonna get it wrong anyway. Let's start with cut down. You cut me wrong, of course. You're opening the spleen. But it's too early. I'm cutting you right. Bear with me and be quiet. Cut down and to the right. Cut down and to the right. Did you find it? Almost. I can almost see why you people devour meat raw, are unaffected by this disease. Cut right. What do you see? Earth. It's... She's breathing. Cut up. Oh. It's only a sound. It's still, I don't know why it's waiting me out so much. Do you see it? What do you see? It, it does look like Earth. What is it? Oh! It was the name. Ooh. Something with you. A world in a person. It's beautiful. This is Earth. Earth is flesh. Hot blood flows through it. It gives birth, gets sick, endures, and suffers. We are flesh of the Earth's flesh, Yargashin, and so is the disease killing you. But it's of no danger to us while we're connected to the Earth. Now you've seen it. I need to read this again. We are flesh of the Earth's flesh, and so is the disease killing you. Oh. The disease is of the Earth's flesh. But it's of no danger to us while we're connected to the Earth. And being connected means that being barefoot? I'm sure there's more to this. I think connection in this sense has, has more meaning. So I can say yes or cut up again. Should we continue? I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh. Shit. We killed her. Oh wow, that music has changed massively. Examine. What the heck? What? Okay, brain, heart, liver... Kidney, right? Was supposed to be here. What is... what? Is this that obvious that I, as the player, should now go and try and take this out? Although it doesn't give me percentages. I wonder whether I should just, just... Do I just leave it alone? I have to. What is this? Escape. A spindle. The thread is thin, like nerves. This is the second thing out of three. The second thing out of three. Okay, it didn't take any durability away, or if it did, then just ever so slightly. Trace it long flesh, bright open, to kill, to cure. Is there any difference? Jesus. This game, man. Can we talk to them again? No, we cannot. Okay. Has this changed? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, they are indeed dancing bare feet. That's 
try and walk carefully around it. I just don't want to risk it. Can't really talk to them either. Probably because they're so in trance. So is it... Is it them then causing it? She did say, we pry the earth open. Why would they do that? Why would they release it? Or is it more about the fact that they are in unity with it, so they don't need to worry about it? Again, I feel every time something remotely answers a question, I have even more popping up. I'm guessing this is probably easier, maybe. Oh, shit. I hope he hasn't seen me. It's probably not the best spot to hide. Because I don't really see him from here. Oh, shit. Okay, okay got it. Loot. Okay, another bottle. I really wish I would have a quick save function. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, a little bit, so... Six fountains, right? So, I probably have to expect a lot more. And I think, I think this is the one we managed to also kill before, but then it's the next one, because there's technically speaking, there's two very close to each other. I think that was the guy that just always killed me, because my health was already so low, so we are already looking. Who can behold the kindliness of Ake? Only dreadnoughts, only grown beings, overstepping beings, daring beings. Once with awoken souls, mighty thoughts, they can withstand ache and wisdom. Sorry, I just wanted to listen again to what the um what the plague has to say. Be very careful. I wanna see oh I wanna just see how far he walks actually. I do apologize, I know this is going to be very, very slow paced, but I'm thinking if it's too slow, you can obviously always skip ahead or at least maybe do the, increase the playback speed. Okay, so he goes into there. What's this? Just a bit of metal. Oh, we should just wait behind here maybe. Hopefully he won't spot me. Master disguise. I mean, right next to the flame thing. Goes all the way down there. I would like to wait for him until he comes almost... Until he comes almost around that bit. And then straight after him. And hopefully we can kind of sneak attack him. Don't know if that gives you any bonus damage potentially. That would be great. very slow, but I'm not going to complain. There he is. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Turn around, my friend. And walk the other way. Let's see if we can get him. The other one is likely going to see us on the other side. Yeah, the other one is seeing us. Damn Okay, let's get our stamina back real quick. Okay. Oh, man. Oof. Had me worried that big guy for a second. 
Oh no, shit, there's another one. No, 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 no. Yeah, he's just gonna come to me, isn't he? Because it basically, it re just registers me now. Okay. Well. Sorry, buddy. Wrong day. This is what knowledge does. <laughs> Such a difference. Oh, man. Oh, there they dancing again. If we're, if we're managing this part, guys, that's going to be thanks to you, honestly. But I'm so appreciative. I was so frustrated the last time. This is already going a lot, a lot smoother. But let's not, um, let's not get hasty now. This is a completely new area now. We have not ventured this far before. I still I still feel so bad that we that we ended up killing her. I wonder if I had to do that last cutoff. I could have just no loss, no loss. Worthless. But overcome, maybe. A canny one can overcome. First hear the shape of the old world. Then Learn to behold deeply, all it's filled with meaning, things big and small. All is filled with meaning. Yeah, sorry, I was just about to say, I wonder whether we had to do that last cut, or if there was an option, if I should have just clicked yes, that maybe would have left her alive. Although we cut her that many times already up until this point, so I'm not... Not too sure. They're fully engulfed in those clouds. Wonder if this is the way that I should be going, or this one? Why is there no quick save function? But we're doing it. We're doing it. I guess I have to go up there, right? To that skull. I didn't see whether there's any more of those worms. If that was it, potentially. Oh. Oh, but he's lighting up again. Collect blood. I should collect it again, right? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna collect it. I hope I can go back to all of the other ones as well to just collect them then bit by bit. Six, right? Six springs was what he said at the beginning, if I remember correctly. Six springs. Can't talk to any of you. I wonder where this leads. Someone must have built this. So many beloved men and folk. So many dreadnoughts. So much to uncover yet. So much to do. Teaching healers the gaze. Teaching men folk to see the might and will of kindly earth. Teaching healers the gaze. I wonder what they mean by that. I'm just very nervous of being flanked all of a sudden. It looks like I can talk to you. There's some proper medical tools. I say proper. Looked like a bone saw and like a hammer. Can I talk to you? 
Blutkin. Go ahead. Tie it together. Tie what together? Show us if you are a good Menku, Emshim. Show us you know how to connect things. All you need to do is place them close to one another. It's people who connect things. Touch one, then another, and the connection forms. All you need to do is place them close to one another. It's people who connect things. Touch them how? With a glance, just the way you like it. With a thought, obviously. Real connections are formed in the mind. With a glance, it has something to do with the look. Didn't they say in the termetry, we want to see him in the eye about him? Um, uh, Oljimsky. With a glance, just the way you like it. The Emshim is modest. It takes no wisdom to see that a cord connects mother to child, yes. It takes no wisdom to see that a stone falling into a river connects to the ripples on the surface. But to see the connection between the stone and the mother, it does nenpa gudzum, Emshim. What do I need to connect and where? Here, on the rocks. You know how it works. A table to cut and mix. But I need, I need herbs, roots, where can I get them? Take what you find around. Should we wait for you? Yes. Please. Bind. Okay, so I need something. Holy shit. There's an entire area, I wonder if I can get there. I'm not gonna run out of the... out of principle, because I think I want to make sure that I keep my stamina in check. Can't go in here either. Almost the full round array. Oh, is this a passage? No, this also isn't one. What am I tying together then? Okay. Should I get the blood from the different... from the different springs? But that wasn't six yet, was it? Okay, back here. Oh, the... the dude's gone. Again, this weird trail that goes down there. Okay, um... Is there anything here? No. Sorry. I'm so used to pressing the shift key for sprinting. I think I collected that one up there. Oh, but now I need to be mindful again. I don't know. Oh, there's one over there. How many more do I have? Three, but that's only five, not six. Can I collect? Yes. Oh, collect. Let's see. Loot. No, I did loot you. He looks like he's just sitting down peacefully, contemplating, lost in thought. No, 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 I don't wanna... I don't wanna autopsy you. What else have I found, by the way? Oh, a candle. The wax is warm like living flesh. This is the last of the three things. Oh! Doesn't look like a real fingernail at all. This is the first thing out of three. Those are the three things that I need to combine. Okay. Yeah, I've collected. Okay. I'm 
Let me go back. I should have paid attention to it, sorry. Um, okay, so those are the three things that I need to bind. I'm fairly certain of it. Yeah, you guys have fun. I love the sound in this cave, it's it's so well made, it's really eerie. It makes you feel like on edge and really tense all by itself. Okay, pint. Uh. That's it. It creates a heart. Wax, a fingernail, and the spindle. And now we have a heart. Zurken's small chamber. Speak to me. Who are you? I am Zurken. I am your heart, Katanga. You have connected things, so you can now hold me in your hand. Hear my voice as if I were a stranger. Speak to me. What the hell is going on here? You now see the nature of the kin. Look, the sand pest shirks the quiet and the humble. The ones who do not know the thought of self. Who do not reach upward. But walk on all fours instead, I see. This is a lie. Or are you saying that thousands that died in the termitry were not of the kin? I don't know whether we should be disagreeing with it, him. Walk on what force instead I see. That which you call the sand pest is just an aspect of earth, a agony, a scream, a voice. It's only lethal to humans, but not to those who forget the word of I. Not to those who speak little, those who have no need of words, don't feel it at all. So the Sandpass is only lethal to humans, an aspect of the Earth. I don't believe in its personification. Aspect of the Earth, I don't believe in its personification. So the Sandpass is only lethal to humans? This disease threatens only those who sever themselves from Earth. Stay with us and live. Merge with us. Return to us. We love you. Don't split off. You hurt without us as much as I hurt, torn out of you. Return to your body, Danga, and your body is your people. I'm not an animal, I'm human. I want to live. Be simpler. Be silent. Abandon speech. You'll feel what they want you to know without it. When you need to express yourself, you'll find a way to connect to them without words, too. There will be no other people. Everything will be united in Earth. I wonder whether that's um, the similarity what we had with... the Ojemski daughter, Capella? I think it was Capella. When she thought and then we knew that we had to come to her i won't be one of you i'm human not a bull fine i'll stay i'll abandon speech no i won't be one of you i'm human not a bull i'll abandon spe i don't want to abandon speech <laughs> i mean it gives us the option I want to see what happens. I won't be one of you. I'm human, not a bull. A human's path leads always to death. Can't you see? Are you even human? Why did you return here to us then? There's no way back from here. There is. The human way is to touch death. 
You said so yourself, Hart. Stay here with Mother Bodo, Earth, and live. Split off from her, become human, and die. A lovely choice. I can see the way. Tell me, Hart, what is this pit? Great bulls were slaughtered here. Their blood trickled down into that pit, dissolving in Earth, feeding her, granting her life. Do you want to know if you're beast or human? Step into the abyss. Follow the bulls. On my own? Like hell I will. Fine, I want to live, I'll stay. On my own? <laughs> Fine, I want to live, I'll stay. They're all ending now, so I want to live. happening now? Nothing? They're still watching. Um, but yeah, what? Uh, down there, this little... It almost looks like it's uh, a way through there. Anyway, um... Can I go through the door? Oh boy, what have we done now with our decision making here? I want to live, I stay. Sounds like the roaring of a big bull in the distance. Um, I guess we're heading out. Is there anything inventory? Anything happening here? No. Mm. Town. We still can't select anything else. Okay. I guess that's it. So interesting. Fingernail wax and a spindle. This didn't change. Did I take you with me? No. Alright, I guess we head out again. Interesting. They are still happily dancing the night away. You, um, you carry on. Don't mind me. There's my three good friends. I think I would have... I, I don't think I would have ever managed to go through all three of them with just my fists. Desiccated, are we? Yeah, we got this one earlier. But there were more. There was one close to them. Can we talk to them again? No. Did I... I think I looted you. Can I just go past here? I can. Oh wow. So it was completely unnecessary for me to be so scared of it. Gotta collect more of this blood. Because I do feel that my mission hasn't changed. We still want to find a cure right? And that's precisely what we're gonna do. I don't know if five vials of blood is going to help. Did let's say six springs, but we only have five bottles. There is still the one at the beginning. Oh, is that because we didn't kill the very first one? We let him live? Is that why? So we got this one. Yeah, and we emptied you. There isn't anything else here. No, there isn't. Alright. Must be the one that's set really close to the entrance, right? I wonder whether he turns hostile now. Uh, 
No, he won't, because he also is gone. I don't have any more bottles, though, so... And then, of course, there's the small matter of we probably, once we step outside, we will most likely... we will most likely realize the consequences of our deaths. So... I'm half expect... Oh! Okay. We cannot go out. The door is closed. Okay. Should I just drink this one, maybe? Empty the last one? Because there isn't anything else, right? Let me drink this one. It's all of them now empty. Does anything change? Can I go outside now? No. Okay. I guess we probably then have to do what the lovely heart told us. Jump down into the abyss, and that'll be that. It seems like an odd choice, but I don't think there's anything else that we can do at this point. This is indeed the only path. Can we jump off the bridge? No, we cannot. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Let me put on my control key just to see anything else that is interactable by any chance. I mean, her, I could, yeah, I could have probably, should I have taken some of her organs? Choices, choices. go up there again. I also want to check maybe if this door is working by any chance. Nope. Also not. Hmm. Interesting. Let me just go up here again. I just want to make sure I really explored all possible options. Or oh, just as this case is. And that's it. Okay. Just the candles on the ground, okay. Um, okay. I hope you can hear it. If not, I urge you just increase the sound a little bit. Because you can even hear the heartbeat. a small detail, but oh, so well made. Well, we cannot save. We cannot go out. As they say, the only way is forward. Let's, um, let's see. Oh, that was too quick. I sense something living nearby. What is this? Okay. It looks like we're going through Intestines, that's like a brain. This game, man. 
and you have something that is weirdly beautiful. Left or right? Let's take a left first. Many ways lead to Rome, they say, but I wonder where this one is going to take us. Way out there, it looks like. But it also continues over here. Sorry if this takes a bit longer, but I don't just want to rush towards potential accident and maybe missing out on something. If it's a bit of extra way that we walk, so be it. That's fine. Okay, that clearly is closed. Right. It looks really gross. What's that? Oh. Oh, it's just a reflection, I guess. There it is. We could leave. But the path also continues behind it. Is there anything here? Remember we're doing all of this butt naked. Bare feet. Through what I can only imagine must be the trippiest walk. What? What the hell? Talk. It looks like something is incredibly close to it. Let's talk. Sorkin's big chamber. A living heart of a giant creature. The Eighth. That is the Eighth? It's beating. Barely. Talk to me. To me. I've been talking to you this whole time. You, the Udurg. Udurg. I don't know this word. You are the town's heart, yes? You are the voice of Earth. Are Earth and the town one and the same? Do you know? You're the town's heart. Yes. The town is alive. Alive. You're just an echo. No, you're not just an echo. No, you're not just an echo. L. I'm pressing L, but still nothing happens. We found the Udurg. That was the word with you, by the way, that I meant earlier. It is a literal heart. Okay. We can hear the beat. It's really faint, very slow. Oh, I think I'm going the same way that we went earlier. Don't I? Yep. Guess this is where we started originally. And we went left. And luckily I didn't take the ladder straight away out. Otherwise we might have missed this. I wonder why they still left the stamina bar, at least in this moment in time. They could have taken it out here, but yeah. But yeah, we can see there's a some form of drill. It's pointing incredibly close. It's almost there.
That's why we don't rush things in games like this. Okay, I guess now we can leave this place. Alright. Huh? That's young Vlad's house, isn't it? Oh. Oh, scared the living bejesus out of me. They call her Earth. You're back. I can tell you've been inside. I'm back, yes. By my eyes. What, do I look older now? How did you get here? Why are you waiting for me? I'm back, yes. What did you see there? The guts of our people. I refuse to rule the kin. Don't want anything to do. I saw strange things. I saw strange things, that's... <laughs> if there was ever a precise way to put it than this, but I'm guessing it's the guts of our people. Yes, Gadanga. We are beasts. We crave a strong hand. You understand now that you must take power over them. Take an Uday and herd them like cattle. It's not what father used to say. Who killed my father, kindred? Hmm. Why is there still this sense of ambiguity in there? That's not what father used to say. Your father's path brought us no happiness. They don't need to be turned into people. Animals demand a different sort of care. Don't you see, Arka? This cursed plague is no threat to us while we remain beasts. Mother Bodo's blessings fall on simplicity. Earth doesn't brook those who walk too straight. Father did everything right. What does that have to do with the infection? It's not like we're immortal. We'll still die like cattle. Just a bit later, perhaps. I don't... We don't know if Father did everything right. I feel this isn't a good answer. But this... What does it have to do with the infection? It's not like we're immortal. Your father led the sand plague into the town. He let everything you now see around you happen. Deliberately. You're lying. Father stopped it five years ago, as he would now if he hadn't died. I knew it. So it's the imposing sides, or just simply saying we don't believe you. It's an interesting game. I think he's speaking half-truths. I think there's an element of truth in there. There's something that our father has done, and I think... It's almost tangible at this point now. We do know this... When he went out with the cane... Um, with one of the canes, and they dug this hole. They did something, clearly. But I still believe, you know, he stopped it back then. Why would he let it back? Unless he learned something now. Something that he deemed essential. But then he needed to protect the children, and he knew it would affect them as well. I mean, plenty of them have died already. Why would he have tasked us then to protect them? You're lying. Father stopped it five years ago. Five years ago, he failed to understand the sand pest's nature. He had no time to think. He was a man of action. Just like you, Akar. For years, he contemplated the outbreak. I think those thoughts drove him mad. When it returned, he opened the door. Eagerly. Why would he do that? I'm too simple to understand his complex reasons. He believed the sand pest would turn subhumans into humans. Creatures who have not lived into living creatures. He said, A town like ours must endure it to live and mature. It's called a vaccination. You're not simple. You're stupid. <laughs> No, what else did he say? That you would come and finish what he started. No, I don't believe it. You must be confused. You couldn't understand his designs. Wait, I need some time to think it all over. I need some time to think it all over. 
You are exhausted. Dai Kibin. You need sleep. Dreams will help you sort your thoughts. As for me, I leave for Olongo. My place is there. So too will yours. One day. They cut on up. Now is not the time to rest. I'm not a bull. I still don't believe you. Be Ogono Ugip. I don't understand. Be Karanav, now's not the time to rest. Well, maybe there is because exhaustion levels are rising up. Jay. Oh my goodness. Alright, I need to just check quickly. Yeah, I think we're hitting time. This took a while, but I'm really glad I gave it another go and um anyhow, let's see what's new here. Father deliberately let the plague into the town. Yeah, we kind of kind of ended up with this as an assumption earlier. Can't remember, but I did I did call this in one of the previous episodes. At least the potential that this might be the case. His ear waits in the step, his heart here underground. I finally see. I understand the Uruk is my town. Here, beasts live, not people. Life and death are the same to them. The red pit in the ground calls to me. Here, people drink blood to survive. Here, people dissect the living to understand. Here, people gnaw at each other like animals. All blood seeps from the abattoir. Perhaps also the blood I seek. So this is closed now. His ear waits in the step. His heart here, underground. I finally see, I understand. Life and death are the same to them. It all comes back to his point where animals deliberately let the plague into town. There is an open field here. Interesting. It's been prophesied that spill rivers of blood to even greater sacrifices await me. Well, we kind of did right now. It's in town. Okay. The map of the town has completely changed. His ear is the step. We can see the lines. This is what it must mean. We can now see the lines. Okay. All right. Thoughts. This is so... Man, so much has changed in just one moment. Okay. So the entire town is, the, is essentially like this bull, right? Yeah, it is. And even though this was painted like a heart straight, although I mean it is the heart, but it is underground, that's what it means. And the ear is the step, which is weird because it, in terms of the drawing, it's over here, but it doesn't matter. This was it. The Samus device took all of my wards and it drags them towards death. Save my wards at any cost. Antibiotics from Ardo's last vials of Panacea. Anything to keep them alive. It'll all be over soon. With day 10, 5 a.m. I really feel like we're hitting... We're hitting that last point. We have this blood now. Five only, though. And we have one, two, three, four, five. I believe we need to do something with it, though. We need to get to our... I believe we need to get to our lair. And create something. <laughs> and then have to give it to them. And again, this is what I meant. Ultimately, our goal hasn't changed. 
Anyhow, I think what I'll do is there should be a save point here in this place. Yeah. What I'll do is I'm gonna save here. And we will take the next steps creating a concoction out of this in the next episode. And by the way, we can see it now. So exhaustion won't get full anymore. Health is still here. So yeah, our deaths had an impact now that we're back outside. But um, my goodness, there's a lot to digest here. But um, before I finish this episode, just one more time. Thank you to everybody for your helpful tips. And I, I cannot stress this enough. It's been amazing that none of you guys spoiled anything. You didn't take any of the meaning away. You allowed me to still experience this completely and, and wholesomely. So yeah, I'm just, I'm really grateful for that. So thank you all for your contribution. Thank you for being patient. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We clearly did a lot better in our attempt to go through Olongo than on the last one. And hopefully we'll, we will be able to um, create a new concoction and help our wards on the next episode. But until then, please look after yourself. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I shall see you fairly soon. Bye bye.